Um, how does modern technology have an effect on childhood development? Technology has had a major impact on children's development, especially on social media and video games. Effects on social media and video games are increase in violence, changing viewpoints, impairing vision, and not enough exercise. And this all comes to my claim. Child development is negatively affected because children do not go outside enough because they are distracted by technology, which impairs their vision and causes them to gain weight. Technology increases violence in children. Alice Park is a staff writer at Time, and she has reported on health, medicine, and in written articles on covering issues such as AIDS and anxiety. In this quote, she says, But a closer look at kids who have played more hours in video games per week reveals an aggressive behavior and violent tendencies compared to kids who have played fewer hours per week. This is just showing that if you play more hours per week, you will, it will increase your chances of having these violent tendencies and aggressive behavior to where if you do not play video games for as long as a period of time, you won't have these aggressive breakouts and aggressive behaviors. Changes in viewpoints in children. Edward Kessler is a founder director of Wolf Institute and a leading founder and a leading thinker of interfaith relations. In this quote, he says, YouTube reached over 700 billion playbacks in 2010 when more than 13 million hours of video were uploaded. In 2011, the average of 48 hours of video was uploaded every minute, releasing nearly eight years of content daily. This is just showing that there's so much content out there that's being created that if your kid sees any type of this content, it might change their viewpoint and what they think. So if their favorite YouTuber or any type of director or author, they put something out there on the social media, it might change what they think and how they view people for the rest of their lives. Technology can lead to children having strained vision. On this uh, picture by um, picture by Lee County Optical, it shows that extended gaming can result in headaches, blurry vision, and dry eyes. This just shows that if you stare at a screen for an extended period of time, it strains your eyes so much that it can cause these bad health issues for your body. And it could also affect your body for the rest of your life with the blurry vision, including as you wear your glasses for the rest of your life as well. Children do not get enough exercise. Jay McConnell is an American game designer and author. In this quote, she says, we spend three billion hours a week playing online games. This just shows that per week, everybody, even children, play, play too much video games and now we just do, we take too much time on video games when we could be doing something else, such as exercise. We, exercise is a much needed thing for everybody and for their body to keep them healthy. It's not just eating, it's also exercise. My counterclaim is that technology is the new way for children to learn. Raul Bola is a pediatric orthometologist at C CHOC Children's, and in this quote he says, more than half the teachers in the United States use smart devices in elementary school. This is showing that a lot of t teachers and everybody is getting adapted to this new way of, that you're teaching children. It's by just, with all these smart devices, it's easier and it's more efficient. However, children still use technology for the wrong reasons. Violent video games is one of the main reasons. With, it will increase your violent tendencies, like I said before, and it will just make you have these violent tendencies and behaviors. And social media influences, like your YouTubers and everything that you watch daily, it, they can affect your viewpoints and how you think about things in life. Solutions and limitations. Limit what children see online. You could probably set some type of setting in your app or whatever device you were on, but parents and teachers cannot hide every single bad influence that there are on, on online. Find an equal balance between technology and physical activity. Maybe just have your kids go outside for an hour and a half, something like that. Or just, and then they can come home and do whatever they want online. But parents and teachers cannot constantly enforce the balance between activity and technology. My main solution is to limit how much time children are on technology. Um, for 18 months or younger, it, it's mainly recommended to not have any screen time at all because just how young they are, and it's bad to have their eyes strained at the, such a young age. And then for 18 months to two years, it's to limit their screen time and avoid solo use. It's just for highly educational programs such as like PBS Kids, it has a ton of stuff that can help you like enhance your child's like brain development. And then for two to five years, maybe just an hour a day, and parents should watch what they are on, so it's not anything bad that could affect how they think. And then for six or older, it's just to limit them to maybe an hour a day, and don't let their screen time affect their sleep schedule, because if it affects their sleep schedule, they will not be able to get up for school early and be able to uh, be good in school and get the good grades that you want them to get. 
the slower side. <coughs> Okay, a couple of questions for you, Jerry. Okay, the first question is, um, how did you handle the differing perspectives in order to reach a conclusion? Um, I, had a, I had a few different perspectives, but I chose to focus on the children perspective because that's basically what my whole question was around. But I wanted to include the teachers and uh, parents in there because they are a big part of how they affect how children are on technology or not. They see how they are affected and they want to help them change and get them to help them develop. Okay. Um, and the second one is, if you had more time, what additional research would you conduct related to this issue? Um, find more ways that teachers and parents are in there and help my perspectives and try to find a better way to include them into my presentation because I feel like I didn't really have a good way of putting teachers and parents into my presentation. It was more focused around the children. 